Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Scientist. Today we will learn how to write NMR data for research papers. I have seen many people who are facing difficulties to write a research papers and their NMR data. Whenever you are going to write NMR data, you should write from upfield to downfield or downfield to upfield. Even many research paper journals have been instructed to write upfield to downfield and downfield to upfield. Various journals have then shown their patterns how to write the NMR data. So most preferable methods, one of the methods is to write NMR data from downfield to up. Let's write the data. First, you have to write which NMR you are using, HNMR, Proton NMR, then it's megahertz, 350, 7, 700, and whatever. Then the solvent which is used in NMR. After writing these three, then write the most downfield proton among the all protons in your state. In my structure, it's a NH 9.5. 49 giving a broad signal so it's it gives singlets the right singlets comma how many proton protons are there one and which protons are these are uh, this proton is alpha nh so you have to write like this now you have finished now comma then write other protons which are at 7.7. .7. Let's check which protons are. So these protons from 5 and 7 are at 7.7, .7, giving doublet. This couples with 3 couples with 2 and 5 couples with 6, giving a doublet. J coupling, you have to also write the J coupling. Here we have written that 3 couples with. When any proton which you are mentioning, such as I am mentioning three proton, so I write three proton comma two means three couples with two. Then slash five couples with six. Then you have J coupling value eight point eight. When you calculate the J value, then you will differentiate that whether this is a right proton or not that I am being mentioned. Means if it would be a meta coupling, this will then this would not be a point eight point. This is ortho coupling J values. Let's move to the Oh, sorry, let's move other part of this uh, J value. Then there are two protons, as I mentioned, three and five. Now you have to represent which protons are there. This is the H3 proton, is it? Yes. And this is H5. The pose, you have to show the positions. Where are these protons? Then moving to downfield, let's check the 7.50. These are 7.5. Similar as you mentioned, 7.5 double eight couples with two couples with three, six couples five, same ortho coupling, eight point mega hertz, and two protons now here just position of proton system and eight and six again similar to this ortho coupling now let's move to 
this one which is different than other these are the 7.24 protons actually due to the uh, 400 megahertz these protons are giving overlapped these are not giving separated peaks in some of the peaks that are not clear to you then write overlapping OVP means overlapping protons which now then write which protons are 4H 4 protons 1, 2, 3, 4 at 6, at 7, at, at 9 Simil these are similar to these are similar. now at 5 point Two hydrogen giving the singlet at this is the proton number proton number one two protons giving a singlet uh, proton number one so similar to this the proton number three Proton number, this is a proton number three couples with four giving a triplet and some megahertz at 12. Sorry, hertz is 12. Give two protons with protons and methylene group it is at a three position. 3.6 hydrogens NH3, as I mentioned, these are the at this position giving the singlet so this is the an hnmr proton nmr how we write the proton let's discuss how to write the c13 same structure using c13 nmr dmso it's megahertz 125 so the as we know that we have to write from up field or down field to up field so the most down field to carbon is a carbothiamide carbons this resonated at 180 second most is 152 which is this one due to this diethyl or uh, dimethyl amine group then this protons 148 due to this as group so from downfield to upfield you have to write all carbons and where they are resonant these are written in ppms as you know there are no need to mention ppms here i haven't tried right uh, any kind of ppms so because we know thank you for watching my youtube channel let's keep watching my videos and keep liking and subscribe thank you